Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo Gaming Laptop, this is a Lenovo Gaming Legion 5, 15 model. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean up the fan, the heatsink and repaste your CPU and processor. If you've been using this for a while and you feel like it sounds like a jet engine or it's just overheating and shuts down quickly, or even if none of those happens, but at least you want to clean it up every once every year and a half or year, depending how many hours you use it. So I'm going to go over step by step how you can open it up and how you can put it back together and how you can clean it. So I'm going to power up every tool that I use and all the tools will be in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. All right. Tool number one, it's a screwdriver set. I'll recommend you a good screwdriver set. I'll recommend the iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. If you purchase the Pro set, they will give you opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. And also a plastic spatula or a wooden one, a tweezer, a very important one, a 99% alcohol, isopropolical, isopropolic alcohol, and a workshop towel. A workshop towel is really, really important for this servicing because if you use a microfiber towel, it can damage the capacitors on the motherboard, but if you use a workshop towel and you put some alcohol on it and you try to clean the motherboard, it will rip apart before it damaging the capacitor. So that's why I recommend you use the workshop towel. All right. And the most important one, a good thermal paste. I'll be using a Thermal Grizzly Extreme. These are one of the best thermal paste after the liquid metal, which is more conductive. All right. With all this on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, you want to power up the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. You want to grab a Phillips number one, and we're going to remove all the screws on the bottom. There's a short screws in the front, longer screws on the side and the back. Keep them in a separate pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Now that we remove all the screws, all you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool or guitar pick. In this case, we're going to stick about one or two millimeters on the side of the laptop, right? On one corner, you want to jam it right in there, stick it right in there, one or two millimeter, and you want to open it up like this. Once you see that gap opening, you want to do the same thing on the front. You want to hit those click sounds. You want to stick the whole thing just a little bit. Once you did the front and the side, that's enough. All you want to do, okay. you want to grab it from the corners. You want to put your fingers on the bottom case. You want to lift it up a little bit up and down. There's a tiny clip in the middle. So you want to loosen up that hook. So lift it up a little bit and I felt that thing just loosen up. You want to work it around like this and it will release the rest of the screw. The hook in the middle is this one right over here. And now you can take it outside and the second most important tool which I don't have right here is a toothbrush. A toothbrush, a good or clean or used toothbrush, it's a good thing to have to clean it outside with a pressure air to clean up the dust mesh. All right, down here we can see the humongous heat sink. There's a five of them, heat pipes, one, two, three, four. Actually, there's a four heat pipes in here, but this is one big, huge one. All right, we're going to remove this heat pipe and we're going to repaste. Before we do that, we're going to disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, you want to pull this jack backward is straight. You can put your fingers on the side of the jack gently and you want to make sure you pull the jack backward is straight. Make sure it's and don't let it go because it can go back inside the jack and you can damage the motherboard. Bring it up is straight and bend it over. All right now we're going to use the tweezers. I don't like pulling these cables for the fan. Never pull the cables on the fan. That's bad for the jack. You want to grab the tweezers or grab your hand and grab this jack by the neck and pull it up and if you can't you can put the tweezers on the side of the jack and then you can lift it up straight and that way you can remove it safely you don't damage the cables same thing for the left and the right side put the joy the tweezers on the side and lift it up all right once you remove that then we're going to remove a whole bunch of screws we are going to change to a Phillips number zero. 
we are gonna remove one screw here one screw right on the fan two screw on the fan actually three of them there's a paper you might have a warranty label but this one is being removed okay there should be a warranty label right in here which there isn't so you want to remove that paper and remove this from a screw right in there remove the screw on this side of the fan remove the screw on this side so three screws in here same thing in here two screws on the bottom and one chrome screw on the top corner all right now that we remove the screws we're going to remove the heat plate for the ssd right in here we're going to remove one screw in here one screw by the speaker and we'll, that's it with this one and then we're going to remove the heat sink we're going to remove the three screws for the gpu and three screws for the cpu they might have a little c lock on them yes they do so you just want to rotate them and then you just feel like it's loosened up because there's a c lock on the other side will prevent the screw coming out so loosen up all the screws all right once it's loosened up you want to move it always hold it from here don't hold it from the side from the closest to the cpu bring it up a little bit so you can break that seal same thing in here you want to hit there you go we broke it and then you can lift it up bring it up evenly okay i need to remove this one because this heat plate is holding it so i'm going to remove the heat plate for the ssd in here too so we're going to lift it up i see the thermal pad in here was squished and there we go so that's why you see this is a factory the thermal paste it is pretty dry and this thermal pad was not over the component these are the power regulators so they needed to be cooled down so we can remove this one and put it right over or you can just stick it right in there nicely now you can take this one outside and clean up the fan with a toothbrush and blow some air through the fence and clean it up nicely here you can use a toothbrush right regarding the thermal pads these are a 0.5 millimeter thermal pads these are 0.5 millimeters again so pretty much they are 0.5 millimeter thermal pads don't need to replace the thermal pads all we need to do is to clean up the old thermal paste in here so we're going to grab a little bit of sheet of the workshop towel we're going to spray alcohol on it and we're going to wipe over the cpu just do a few wipes back and forward it is very dry so as long as you clean the crystal dye you're fine you don't need to go around it now we're going to clean up the gpu water gpu you want to clean up the crystal dye again on top make sure you put enough alcohol on the towel so you don't damage the tiny capacitors around the cpu and use that dry part to clean make sure there's no dust particles on the cpu die now we're going to do the same thing on the heat sink we're going to swipe and clean the CPU and I mean the heat sink. All right, now that we clean up the heat sink and the CPU, we're going to use a dry part of the towel and we're going to do final swipe on the CPU and on the heat sink. We're going to grab our thermal paste. We are gonna just brush over the both components. These are not conductive, so don't worry about going over. Just put as much as you can on the GPU and the CPU. You just in a tiny layer, so. Do the same thing on the CPU. The main die is the CPU, the second die is the PCH chip. 
So you need to cover up both of them. Or you can put a tiny line in the middle because I have a spatula here. It doesn't matter if you are messy or not. It's gonna spread around by itself. There you go. So I'm gonna clean up this one. So when you put the heat sink on top, it's gonna spread the thermal paste around. So don't worry about if it's messy. So you're gonna bring it down straight. Make sure these thermal pads are not moving around. Align the screw holes. Once you put it in, you do not, again, do not remove, lift up the heat sink. Once it goes down, don't lift it up again. Make sure all the thermal pads are in place and you want to cross screw them always. Put one screw all the way in the back and do the one on the other side. There's a tiny numbers on them. But if, as long as you cross screw them, doesn't matter what order you go. Now we can see that the thermal pads are in place and it's touching the components correctly. All right, once we put the heat sink in, we want to connect the jack for the fan straight in. Don't put sideways, it goes in straight. Okay, grab the jack, put it inside the connector, straight in. Don't put it sideways. Once you put that one in there, make sure the cable goes on the side. Grab the heatsink for the hard drive on this side, for the SSD. Put it in place. Put the two screws. One is in, on this side, and one is by the battery. The screw for here comes for the fan that you removed. So put this one right in there. And the one right by the heatsink fan and the one for the hinges. This one holds the heatsink and holds the hinges in place too. They should nicely tighten up. Grab the heat spreader for your other SSD, your main SSD. Put it down. Make sure the cable stays on the side, doesn't come in the way. Uh, put the two screws. And the three screw for the fan, and one of the screws is gonna hold the heat sink too. Again, it's the same thing on the other side. And the chrome screw should go in the back by the hinges. All right. Now that we double check the fan connector, the heat sink is in place. Now we're gonna grab the battery. This is very important. Make sure the battery connector goes in straight inside the jack, doesn't go sideways or anything like that. Align it and then pinch it right in the all the way inside. All right, once we're done with this one, pretty much everything is ready to set. Grab the bottom cover, bring it over, put the power over, press in the middle gently, and it's gonna click in on the side on the front and then put the short screws in the front and the long screws in the rest of the space again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any questions or requests feel free to leave them in a the video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can i'm gonna power out the laptop so you guys can see that it powers on for those people that are really paranoid so i'm just gonna put two screws one screw in the corner and then i'll come back i'll put the rest of the screws just remember, when you disconnect the battery on some laptops, in order for it to power on, you need to connect the charger before it powers on. Even if the battery has enough charge, you do need to connect it. I see the power light, charging light is on. I'm gonna bring it this way. Let's go ahead. I see lights coming on and uh, it's under you have to wait five to 10 seconds for the logo to show up and there we have it. And that should cover up today's video. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Thanks for watching.